In order to start this process, we have to have a target scent or something that starts the dog on the process of tracking. Now tracking is natural for the dogs. We don't really need to teach them how to do it. They're born with that capability and at ages of one week to two weeks, even before their eyes are opening, as little puppies, they're showing tracking capabilities. They're born with this instinct, we can't teach it. But what we can teach is how to target certain people and how to work in a myriad in, in, of conditions and environments. So that's what we're gonna do. To begin with, we have to target the human that we're looking for. Every person has their unique individual odor that's different than other people, okay? And the dogs can actually know which odor to follow and to find based on the presentation of a scent article. So in the beginning, since this is something's kind of unnatural to the tracking process and to the instinct, we actually have to start this in the fire trail process. I like to start off with cloth, something that holds a lot of odor, nice and easy. We get the human odor all over it. And some of the things we wanna take in consideration, this cloth needs to contrast with the environment, okay? It has to stand out. If it's the same shade as your back, background environment right here, it's not gonna stand out to the dog. I not only want them to smell it, but I want them to see it because it has to be targeted when we actually start this process. Okay, so the way this is gonna happen, and it has to happen in just the right steps, is first off, our trail layer, the person that's gonna lay the trail for the dog and that the dog is going to find, is gonna get their scent all over this cloth. It's gonna be super important that it's saturated as best as possible. The next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna have the dog prepared for the trail right out in front of them. They're gonna show them the scent article from a distance and they're gonna take off after that. Now, when they take off, they need to get out of sight immediately. We do not want the dog to see where the person's going. If the dog sees where the person is going, they're gonna use their eyesight and not their nose. And we don't wanna imprint that. This is all about odor. So the trail air, he's going to entice with the food, show them the reward system, step back about six to 10 feet, and then show them the article. Once the the dog sees the article and is acknowledging its existence, the trail air is going to drop it on the ground and then take off and get out of sight. Now this is the important part. When they take off, we need to add as much odor to the, to the ground as we possibly can. Not just the blown odor coming off the body, but we want lots of ground disturbance odor too. So my trail air is going to really kick up their feet quite a bit like this to add a lot of odor to the actual trail. In the beginning, our trail is gonna be relatively short and the distance is commensurate to the maturity level of the dog. For example, if we've got a 12 week old puppy, that distance may only be about 45 or 50 feet. On the other hand, if we have an older adult dog, that distance could be out to about 100 yards. It just depends on their attention span and their maturity.